Good day, Columbia, and welcome to Arts Watch. I'm William Starr, and this week we're at 80808. A competition exhibit has come to Columbia from Lake City, Art Fields Extended, and it's a magnificent exhibit of over 40 exhibitors, all from South Carolina. We're gonna visit with some of the key artists and learn more about the exhibit right now. Um, I'm not sure how I first heard about Art Fields, but it was modeled after a competition in Grand Rapids, Michigan called Art Prize, and I competed in that last fall. And so when I heard that it was gonna be here in South Carolina, they were doing a similar competition, I was very excited. The uh, competition in Grand Rapids was great for their economy. Um, they had lots of people come in. It was great for businesses. And so I knew this was a wonderful opportunity, not just for Lake City, but I feel like for South Carolina as well. We held back on you know, the event page and the Twitter and um, kind of held back on giving out the cards a little bit until the event was actually over in Lake City because we didn't want to discourage people from going to see the show, but we wanted to give them an opportunity to be able to come and see it and have it so close by. We have 40 artists from the Columbia area. Marianne McCormick, who's actually a student at Columbia College, and Grayson Smith, who's a student at Winthrop University. My Art Fields piece, it's a collection of probably a year and a half of work. Um, it's made up of different pieces that I did over time, and I sewed them all together to create this larger piece. This is an opportunity to get our work out uh, before a larger audience. So, of course, when you have a, a big prize that's dangling, it will draw a lot of artists. Some of my first competitions, the reason I competed was because I wanted to stretch myself as an artist, and some of them have parameters that you have to follow that might have a theme or something like that. So it challenge you, challenges you as an artist to create a work that might be a little outside your norm, which is actually how I got started in this work in the first place. I entered an environmental art competition as a painter, and I was planning to paint something that had to do with the environment, and I just could not get inspired what I wanted to paint a picture of until I had the idea of using trash and post-consumer materials as my paint, and that's actually how I got started. You know, when I work on these pieces, as you get close to it, it, the image falls away a little bit. It becomes more of an abstract work of art. When I'm working on it, it's really a challenge because until I glue everything down, I can't pick it up and step back and get that good look at it until it's um, almost done, really. This piece, I'm not really exactly sure what they'll do with it, um, but it will stay in Lake City or whatever they decide to do with it. And I was really uh, happy they let me hang on to the piece for a couple more weeks so that it could be in this show. I haven't had a chance to show it anywhere but Art Fields, so it was nice to be able to have it here at home and show it in Columbia. The competition in Lake City might be over, but that doesn't mean you can't check out the over 40 artists right here at Gallery 80808. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Thank you for watching Arts Watch. I'm William Starrett, and have a good day, Columbia.